So today we're going to be playing NBA 2K20 for my team. We're starting from complete scratch, starting from zero, and we're going to be trying to build a God Squad in less than 12 hours. So we are starting off on stream. This was during the Thanksgiving Day event a couple of days ago. And we're going to start off by picking the Spurs starter pack. One, it means you can get Wemby, but you also get Danny Green, who's very easy to beat the offline CPU on semi-pro difficulty. He hits a lot of threes, and he's honestly the best to get as far as, like, well, starter cards, because they're all pretty much useless. So we end up having a little bit of MT, and I need to get rid of it. Get me one of these, and I'm going to discard whoever I get. I'm go trying to get the zero. I'm trying to get the zero. I'm not meant to have Jalen Williams. And while I'm obviously meant to start off on zero, the account I'm on at a pre-order bonus, so I do did need to buy some packs just to get back down to zero. I'm trying to lose my MT. Oh my god. And I just lose my MT. I'm trying to get back to zero. So we got to our zero MT. We graded. We decided to grade our TJ Warren and then just not touch him. Ignore him that he doesn't even exist. So we opened up a couple of the PlayStation Plus packs. They're not pre-order packs. Everyone gets them, so I have no problem opening them. And we're able to discard a couple of players as well as typing in the locker code, which got us a little bit. So starting off, I'm looking at the John Havlicek and the Trey Young grinds. I want both of those guys. So I am going to be focusing mostly on TT Offline because we can go and cook here with Danny Green. Obviously, the guy is going to be an absolutely elite shooter, and he's going to get through these games pretty quickly. I just hate the ball drops because now if you go for the spinner, you're guaranteed to only hit one. You're going to get one of the bad ball drops. But we do end up getting ourselves Anthony Tolliver as well, and Tolliver, a pretty decent card. And we're just chipping away here with the Thanksgiving cards. We need to get, obviously... I think is a 15 of them to get our free diamond card. And we got more of them than I initially thought. We end up buying Vando because we do have the MT2. Got ourselves Jared Vanderbilt from the locker code. Because obviously he is a diamond. And we do want to sell that diamond for 50k later on in the day. But first of all, we do need to just focus on Trey Young. Focus on getting Vando his first Evo. Because obviously it's a pretty easy one. Get it done in TT offline in a game. And... Yeah, that's just how we're working. We're trying to get that Van de Weevo up. We're trying to get Hamadou Diallo his dunks because now we got Christian Wood, a guy who I don't use him in the final squad, but still a pretty good player, to be honest. How far are we? Six of the Thanksgiving cards? Okay. We got six in an hour. That's looking okay. And we're still focusing on offline before we can build a competent team to go online. I'm very confident to win in most of these. We're rack cutting. We're getting our guys. And we finally did open the Thanksgiving ball. And to be honest, I expected more. I got 500 MT out of a diamond prize ball. And we're starting to get closer and closer now to getting Trey Young, who will be our starting point guard. Lads, look who I just got. Look who I just got. Okay, so we got two of these packs. Again, how many uh how many do we have for this left? I need eight more, so I need six more. I need six more. We're in okay shape, I think. I think I need like 14 boards in a game. 12 three pointers, 27 assists. is easy. And here I make a very dumb mistake. In hindsight, long term made no difference, but like at this stage, it looked like an incredibly dumb mistake putting it into the wrong section. No! So we spend the rest of this hour trying to get Vando upgraded, trying to get Trey Young with the blocks with the busher, and it's working out okay. And honestly, Jeremy Lin, I was hoping he was going to be a free card. I planned a lot around getting him, uh, but now VC only card, the literal opposite to free. So we go right back into TT offline. We're obviously trying to get Hondo as well. So we're going and getting our assist with Daryl Armstrong. But yeah, it honestly was pretty painful. I'm not going to lie, playing as much offline. Okay, I think I've got him evolved. I think I got him evolved. One assist. Three of 30. Now we're right back to the TT offline grind, lads. There we go, 15. Let's go, it's only taking us like three hours. 
Eventually, we do go and add Trey Young to our squad, who, along with Dave DeBusher, is another guy we've got that will be in the final squad. And so far, I'm looking at guys like Christian Wood. They don't quite make it, but we're starting to get some players, I guess. I'm thinking this team's looking all right. It's really not. But DeBusher is surprisingly huge for me. So I decide to check what the deal of the hour is going to be. And yeah, this next one was very disappointing. He's free tomorrow! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's free tomorrow! What is this? You are kidding me! Why is this? He's free tomorrow! So obviously after ignoring that Black Friday deal, we do go and get ourselves Vin Baker. And we just need to get a lot of just points in the paint with him. And we get ourselves a very good TJ Warren card, to be honest. I'm going to start playing online once I get him done. Four steals, a block, and some rebounds. So we stayed offline trying to get Vando evo And we just really need the steals. And honestly, playing online is fine for that. He'll get more steals online than offline. He gets more off-ball ones. We do need to wait a bit of time anyway before completing the Thanksgiving event. And we do end up having to use the graded TJ Warren, I guess, because, well, you just can't have two. I have to just keep the graded one, I guess. I have to keep the graded one. I forgot about him. I got him in a pack troll trying to get rid of my MT, so I just have a graded version of him now. And finally, we get to play some online 2K. I hate playing offline, but getting to play online was great because it meant that we could use ourselves or Trey Young, we could use Jared Vanderbilt, not a bad team at all. And we go and get a nice win in our first game. Should be green. There we go. Trey's starting to cook right here. We then play another one where we do go again with Trey Young going and getting ourselves another win off these fadeaways. So we're looking pretty good online. Emerald Jeff Green, I'll take that. Not good, but I'll take it. But we do eventually go complete the Thanksgiving pack. Thanksgiving pack, we got the diamond. Chat, who do you think it's going to be? Chat, predictions, predictions. Just not Josh Smith. Tyrese Maxey. Just anyone but Tyrese Maxey or Josh Smith. I'll take Embiid. Embiid's fine. Embiid's fine. Like. Ingram, Maxey. Like, literally anyone but those. Anyone but those. I, like, that's... That's all I can ask for is anyone but those. Um, if I get Spicy P, I'm fine. Ingram's okay. Just anyone but Josh Smith. Like, even Maxi's not the worst thing in the world. Actually, Maxi is, because I don't, really don't want Maxi. Anyone but Maxi or Josh Smith. Center! Embiid! Give me that. Like, of all the scrub diamonds, he's the best of the scrub diamonds. Add him B to the team? Team's looking nice now, isn't it? It's really not, but, like, it's getting there. Um, I'm not going to go, like, overly, like, crazy with buying cards. I'm going to buy him. 4,200. Roberson might be surprised for you guys, but I really like this guy and he does come into my squad, but I'm going to go and play some clutch time offline. Bit of a weird decision. I just wanted to use some of the new guys. We face a god squad in their first game, but honestly, I don't start off too badly, I guess. You f***ing rat. You've got a god squad and you are rat cutting. But as much as I'm trying to play hard, my team just cannot compete with a god squad. We have my Larry Hughes, sorry, not Larry Hughes, Larry Sanders. Who, for some reason, ends up playing better at the center position than Embiid for me, which was a really, really weird one. But game two against a tough squad, and we do get a dub. Oh, come on. Come on! We face another absolutely elite team in the third game, but we get a very comfortable win right here. So I'm starting to play well online, especially with these budget players. And the thing is, even though we did look like we were wasting one of our picks... We can just start to very easily get ourselves um, up and get one of those free cards. But the big thing now is getting that 50,000 MT. We need to finish that Jared Vanderbilt card. We need to get him evo all the way up to his diamond and get ourselves 50k MT. Let me get 50k for him. Boom. 
I'm very close to what I need for a new player, but I do need to discard some miscellaneous things so I don't want to play anymore. There we go. We are on 10 MT. Player market. Beasley. 84,000 MT. Michael Beasley come into our team. Five hours. Not bad at all, like. So we ended the first day and we honestly, we have a nice team. We have Michael Beasley. And there's one thing I did notice, like we're playing some clutch time and it's probably not the best mode for Michael Beasley. Beasley might be the best TTO player in the game, but even against a good squad here, I'm just struggling to shoot with Beasley. I didn't even realize it. The reason why I could not hit a shot with Beasley is because I have my shot timing set to uh, push instead of set point. So by the end of like this day of playing, I figured out how to shoot with Beasley, but nobody else because I'm so used to shooting with everybody else on set point. But for some reason, I got reset to push. Was like trying to relearn how to shoot, but only shot with Beasley. But uh, yeah, in the end, we do go and lose that game there in overtime. But I decided to play some TTO where this right here, it was the Michael Beasley show. There was nothing any of my opponents could do to this six foot nine sniper. Like one of the best releases in the game. A lefty, great upper. This is one of the best cards in the entire game. Like there is nobody that can beat us, especially when we're playing defense like we are. That's rage quits from defense. And in the end, I take out TJ Warren, put in Andre Roberson. In my first game, I face 60 half badge LeBron. But it really does not matter. They cannot stop Michael Beasley. Beasley goes and gets like a three-pointer dunk. He gets a steal, kicks it out to Roberson, and we end up winning this game 21-2. to Yes, against the 60 Hall of Fame badge LeBron. Next game's going to be tough. Oh, you rat. You rat. Imagine spending that much money to be a absolute rat. This game starts off pretty close right here. You're going to actually just leave the best shooter in the game open the corner. I'll take it. Come on. Good job getting contact. Green. Ooh, come on. He's pause cheesing me. He's an absolute rat and he's pause cheesing me. But the debusher Beasley combination is just too much for this guy, especially with Roberson on defense, and he's just out of here. Give me that dub. Next game facing Vando, Bosch, and Cade. This is going to be a very, very tough matchup for what was an undefeated team. I missed. No. He's going to hit it. Oh, that's such a bad miss. And even after a loss there, we do go and face a pretty good team right here. But it doesn't matter. We come back and play like we play and we destroy my opponent. We can get Bobby Portis, who we want. Do we want Bobby Portis? I need to see the East. I need to see the East. Because like Ben Mather is going to get an Evo tomorrow. Which obviously would make me a lot. But it doesn't mean anything now that Ben Mather is going to get an Evo tomorrow. But Derek White. I'm cool with my backup point guard. Oh. Tobias Harris is that guy too. I do really like Bobby Portis. But, like, if I get AD, does Bobby Portis come in? Yeah, he does. He does. He does. The Bobby Portis is coming into the team. Is AD even worth getting to play a Dom game? How many hours does it take to get AD? Probably he's worth two hours of my time, though, isn't he? Or does this win any domination game, isn't it? I can do a lot of Evos in that, though. Turn battles the Lux pack if I just grade three cards. Please. Please give me somebody good. Give me somebody good. Just not like Canard or something. Someone like... There's a lot of really good players I can get. Just give me one of them. Give me one of them. No! There is a 3% chance of that. There is a 3% chance of that. So I didn't even realize I hadn't gotten any of the season rewards. Did I get anything of note? Not really. I think I got combined like 300 MT from the Ascension. But we are facing a very weak opponent right here. And it's obviously a very comfortable win. Telling you guys, the busher is elite. And also, obviously, Beasley is just the best. Beasley is the best player in this game I've used this year. Face a very tough opponent right here. He's got himself KD. He's got Kawhi. He's got Jason Tatum. 
and he's honestly a pretty decent player as well we have to resort to rack cutting him to get the win and honestly i have to rack cut a lot more than i would like we beat a do with wilt right here and with that we end up i think have we completed it or uh we're close to it actually no we're at the very start of getting the tournament battles one because we then go and buy ourselves Contavious Caldwell Pope right here. And we buy Vando, actually. And I actually bought Vando. I made a huge mistake. I bought him because I thought that we could repeatedly get the 50k. But, uh, yeah, we couldn't. We couldn't. It was just once. Okay, so we've got our Bobby Portis Evo out here pretty quickly. Uh, we need just points with TJ Warren. Like, seven block. Like, it's not difficult to get him evo up. So, as far as TJ Warren, to get ourselves Honda, we need about 100 points. So, it's about five more games. I'm going to just play five games of TT offline and see how far we can get Vando. Because things like steals, normal rebounds, I'm cool with Vando. So, I focus a bit much on Vando trying to Evo him up. And I'm not going to lie, like, I hate Vando as is. He's going to be in my squad, obviously, at the end. But I spent way too much time focusing on evo a card I really hate in this game. Okay, so we've got... We've got ourselves John Havlicek, which is a nice little player to get. So we had Hondo, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we should have the Evo on Vando. We're three rebounds. We have 10 blocks for we get 12 boards. Okay, so we're three rebounds on Vando. And then I think steals-wise, we're doing okay. So I'm going to play some TT online. Because it's just the mode that I probably have the most success in. So I'm going to run Vando. I'm going to run Portis. I'm going to run Beasley. So two Sapphires and a Amethyst should be okay. Rebounds and blocks wise. And maybe get a couple of steals as well with um, Portis to get him an Evo. And now we start the online Vando curse. Playing Vando online immediately just made us suck. Thank God. Thank God. And after a two-pointer here with Portis, I mean, three goals are obviously going to quit. There we go. We got him up to Ruby. Two more Evos on him. I played one offline game just to get him his 14 rebounds in one game, which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Going back to online. Like, I get more out of playing online, and it, the games just end quicker. It's more fun as well. Like, I don't think I can play offline for much longer. Playing online is at least enjoyable, I guess. We face a pretty good team right here. Wilt, Joe Johnson, AD, and we lose fairly in a tight one. Oh, come on, Portis. Get the block. It then hit 4 p.m. on Saturday, meaning that Baron Davis requirements were up. Win a domination game. Cool. Cool. Apply three badges. I got plenty of badges. So basically, I can just get him while getting 80. I thought maybe Bobby Portis was the problem, so we put in Roberson. Eh, not a bad, not a great lineup here, to be honest. We face a not very good team right here, and I'm not going to lie, Vando stunk it up. Vando is so bad. I'm not even joking, like trying to use Vando, like trying to just use Vando online is just awful. Like, oh yeah, you get some boards, like there's plenty of guys that get boards that aren't as garbage as Vando. Like Vando is there to get me a salary cap team and that is all. I've had leads, I've been well in this game, but Vando, I've definitely pressed triangle there. We didn't face the same guy as we beat a little bit earlier and we lose to him now. It's just the van, no problem for losing online, but at least he's doing well offline, and we almost have him up here at Amethyst. Okay, we're almost, we almost have enough to build a mediocre team right here. Like, we just need to get him evoed up and get him out of there. Get my 50k MT and use that. Like, I would love to buy Cade, but I just don't have the MT to buy Cade. Um, so let's go and play some TTO, because I'm not going to hit the steals otherwise. So I'm going to put in... I'm going to put the busher back into the team, because I think the busher... His ability to just bully those post player or those like um, little guys was huge. I think the Busher is his big loss. Great as Robeson was, the Busher is a big loss. I started to think maybe it's not the Vando problem. Maybe it's just the Busher is just the go to TTO. Like they're just not able to stop the Busher at all. I think him at the one is just that might be it. That might be the move. And another game, we pick up another win here. Come on, I don't want to play. I have to play another game right here. Why don't I just get KCP? Because I'm going to play another game anyway. Lovely, I got KCP. Imagine, like, if I'd gotten... If I'd gotten that other pack one second before Bobby Portis. 
I wouldn't have had to even have done that and I could have gotten someone that not other than KCP maybe. I could have used this on a Vando then. I don't know. Probably we shouldn't have. But like 15k MT. We're not doing too badly MT wise. Um, I'm not going for another Vando. Josh Green. Obviously what am I thinking about? I'm going for KCP. Josh Green, if you don't know, is like so cheap salary cap wise. That he wouldn't have even been the worst option. But KCP, you're coming in because you're going to be my shooting guard. Okay, so let's play one more game. So I actually think as far as uh, the Evos go, we're actually okay on Vando. Because he did have a good game there. So like we've gotten four to steal. Like the five blocks are easy. The three pointers are easy and the rebounds are easy. We just need to get, it's the steals that's really what we need for him. Should have a lane right here, which he gives me. Easy quick drop, come on. If I want to put out an unlimited team, I need to win the salary cap game first though. So like I just buy a lot of really cheap guys. Cause like for salary cap, the one player I want is Beasley. Like I do want Beasley in there whose salary is 4,000. So I've got 7,000 for the rest of the team. We actually get a surprisingly great card right here from the Thanksgiving pack. Bismack Biombo. I'm pretty sure he's like nothing in salary cap. And he's not bad. I'm, as far as I'm aware, Bismack Biombo. Like, Brian Reeves is cheap. Just get, like, taller out of there. If I'm not mistaken, Bismack Biombo is, like, super cheap in salary. I'm, like, confident of that one. Like, yeah, he's 400. It was at this moment I realized we weren't getting an extra 50k for Evo and Vando again. No, Vando's not repeatable. So we got Baron Davis to come in. We've got, at the backup, uh, we've got like Larry Hughes who's definitely coming in. I'm not you. I'm not putting Larry Nance in the team because he just doesn't fit. I love Larry Nance, but I don't need, I can save 10k on Larry Nance. Because like my starting line will probably be this. Maybe AD there. Hopefully all goes well. I got about four more hours or something to go. Um, we're going to have Larry Hughes or Trey Young, KCP, uh, Michael Beasley, AD, Joel Embiid. Bench of Larry Hughes, Hondo, Tobias Harris, power forward. We're going to have Diamond Vando and then Ruby Bobby Portis. So we just played regular domination on three stars and yeah, it just became a incredibly easy game right here. Very easy win. All right, we've, uh, we got it one very, very handily, like 72 to 34. And we should get a decent chunk of MT from this. Might, I think it should be enough to buy a limited team. And we want, we got 4,000. I will take that maxed. <laughs> Is there as a max MT amount? I'll take 4,000 though. Okay, I'll take it up to 21,000 MT. I'm probably going to go and play the unlimited game right now. Because I should... If I'm not mistaken, I should have Baron Davis. And like that gives me a chance, especially in like early, like zero games played SPMM. I should have a decent enough chance of winning an unlimited game. Okay, I was about to say, shouldn't, uh, surely I get Baron Davis. So apply three badges. There we go. I should have... My Baron Davis here. And I'm actually okay with my team. I need to look at like salaries of certain players that I kind of want to pick up. Like Robert Covington is a player that I do want to pick up because I think he's a low salary. No, he's 1400. Okay, Baron Davis salary cap is only 900. That's actually really good. He's 300. What's Austin Crozier? 600. Lovely. Let me buy Crozier. Let me buy Shannon Brown, because I do really like Austin Crozier, and I like Shannon Brown. I want to see, can I get what price he is? Salary cap-wise, he's only 800. I don't think it's a bad price, to be honest, for what he is. I need to see if I can find any other good ones for like 500 or so or less. We just can barely put together a salary cap team, so I got to go and search for some more guys. Roko, 700? Okay, I'll pay 4k for Roko. Because Roko might make my actual team. And in the end, Roko is someone who makes our very final squad, lads. Okay, I think this is the team I'll use. Nice bench lineup in there to play a couple of minutes. Probably did waste a little bit of MT there on um, Charlie Ward, but not the end of the world. 
And we are completely overmatched in this game. Okay. This is a tough line up here to come up against now, isn't it? He leaves me open to start the game, which is a little bit weird. Is that? Is he going to give me that the whole game? But first possession, he hits a three with Demantis Sabonis. And as the game is going on, he's showing that he's actually a pretty good player with a way better team than I have. I'm taking my L. I'm taking my L. I'm taking my L. I'm taking my 1L. I'm not winning that game. I can afford to quit out of one game before I get banned. Wow. Winning a game of salary caps will be way harder than winning an unlimited game. I was putting out there, like, I'm coming up against, like, legitimately beastly teams. I'm not going to win a game. Not going to lie, I am resorting to rack cutting because I can't really do anything else on offense in salary cap. <laughs> oh, this game is so garbage. This game is so garbage. And I'm, I'm being completely honest. I am a rat. I'm being a rat right here. Does not change the fact this game is garbage. All right, he's just a pure rat cutter. Oh my God, you rat. Like, how is this working? And like, Zach Levine cannot guard my rat cut here. This is the worst game ever. This is the worst game ever. Like, this is the worst sports game ever, by the way. And unfortunately, we lose this one in a very, very tight game. This game sucks. Oh, thank God. Oh, he's still got two Amethysts in the team. We face a good squad right here. Three Amethysts in the team. And obviously we've got like a Ruby and gold and emeralds. I don't even think we have a Sapphire or a Ruby. But in the end, we just become the ultimate rat right here. Game! Oh my God, that is the worst game mode ever. That is the worst game mode ever. Oh my God, I know why people hate this. The worst game mode ever. Okay, we've got our nice little team right here going into Unlimited. Like, I'm still, I'm confident I win with these guys. Especially on low SP man, but like, that was just torture. Please, give me an easy game one. Ah, uh, you know what? 22 and 17, I'll take that at 0 and 0. Got Duncan, yeah, I'll take this team. And 5v5 2k is just painful. It is just rack cutting, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm as bad as anyone for it. I am a complete rat in this game, but at least I have Michael Beasley. See, Michael Beasley makes it look like I'm at least a competent 2K player. He's the only who does anything for me. Beasley is literally the only reason I have any hope of anything. Like, that Beasley purchase is, like, the only reason why I'm winning any games. But when Beasley's not on the floor, the only thing I really can do is rack cut, which to be fair, that is just everybody's A game. But I actually do end up getting an open shot pretty luckily with Baron Davis and he hits it. I'm so miserable. I'm actually so miserable. This is the worst thing ever. And I'm winning. This is awful, man. This is awful. But Beasley is just everything for my team. Like I hit one there with Vando. Like, when it comes to it, the one guy that I just want on my team is Beasley, and he's, like, the one guy that I'm comfortable scoring with. Other than Beasley, the only people I can really score with are rack cutters. To be fair, though, Trey does hit a fade to win it. Oh, it's an easy 17-point win. Could have been 37. I think we've got, like, two games until we've gotten 80. A challenge game, a co-op game, and a clutch time offline game. For co-op, I just jumped into a game. I didn't play with anyone. I just jumped in. Okay, so I'm being guarded by Embiid. And I'm just gonna cook. I'm just gonna cook in this game. And I showed in this game why Michael Beasley is the damn best. You can see here, passing, rebounding, shooting, very much shooting, also just, I don't know, he's just the best. He just is the best, that's all I can say. I think this is like pre-shooting. I think this is like pre-shooting, Patrick. I don't mind, I don't mind it, to be honest. I was hitting everything as well, so I'm good. So a challenge and a clutch time offline game. So let's go to challenges. We get through the three point challenge pretty quickly here. Make six of them very easy on semi pro difficulty. I think that's it. Oh, it's not it. We still have another. Oh, we still have another uh, clutch time offline game to go. I think we're done after that pretty much. Clutch time offline, one of the easier challenges, a nice and easy eight point win in this. And we've got AD, I think. Let's add Anthony Davis to the squad. Boom, Amethyst AD. 
I really don't care about getting Robert Ori. Okay, so who else comes into the team? Obviously, he comes in. I don't mind this team right now. Roko is better than him. Like, I hate to say it, Roko is better. So right now, I like the team. I want to see, does Vando have his, like, upgrade? I got 25,000 MT right now. And my position that I'm probably weakest in... Like, I don't mind Baron Davis. But I would much rather use... Uh, I'd much rather have Larry Hughes in there. So I'm going to go to the... Ain't ridiculous I can get for 25,000 MT. Nah. So I'm going to go and buy Larry Hughes. For like 10,000 MT. What's the other day? Don't want him. Uh, so let's go Larry Hughes, 10k. The like Evos are not... Trust me, these Evos do not are not taking a while. So five blocks. Not long. It's just that it's 1am and I kind of need to get this video up today. So this video was actually meant to be out five days ago on Saturday. The problem was I've just had a really busy week. So I, in the last hour, I would have gotten the like three blocks needed for Portis. The small bit I would need to evoke ACP. As well as the like couple of rebounds I needed for Jared Vanderbilt. So had I been able to finish this out for another half an hour, I would have had this team right here. Obviously, Portis has more Evos, and we would have gone for other players had, like, the DFS been out. But, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.